What's up everyone? I've got an incredible cardio and abs workout for you. I am out of breath. My core is feeling strong and tight and we're keeping it basic with a little bit more volume today. We've got four minute work periods and you're gonna do 20 reps of everything. So if it's a one leg or one side movement, 10 each side. Later in the workout, we'll isolate just cardio or just abs. But for the first half of the workout, we'll have a combination of the two. So make sure you're ready to put in the work and you're ready to move. You don't need any equipment aside from your water and your sweat towel. If you have one, pull out a BOSU ball just to give yourself a little bit of an extra stretch for a core movement. If not, we're rocking it on the ground, no equipment. Grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and let's get started. All right, let's go heels to glutes, pull the arms back, and let's rock into this workout. Super proud of you for showing up today. I want you to have fun with this workout. We're gonna have some volume in each of our four minute work periods. My mission is just to keep you moving and to focus on good, strong core connection. Okay, feet down and twist. Throughout the workout, in any of our core movements, I challenge you to think about breathing out through a straw. Okay, anytime you're exhaling, core muscles are working for you. Okay, arms go past your body. I also want you to focus on keeping a neutral pelvis. Okay, so anytime you're sitting up or your legs are lowering, make sure hips don't dump forward or backward. Just keep it nice and stacked right here, okay? As for cardio, your mission is just to keep moving today. In this style of workout, you'll count some reps. Okay, focus on that and your breath. Take it down, bend over, good job. And walk it out, pike position. Heels down, out back, let's pedal, pedal, pedal. In each of our four minute segments today, I'm gonna to give you a different amount of reps to count, okay? But the volume will be a bit higher, anywhere from 16 to 20. All right, leg comes up outside, your front hand, open it up, and lift. Here we go, cycle it through. Four, three, two, and one. Lift it up and switch legs. Same thing, other side. Drop it down to open your hip. And lift, let's go five. Four. Three. Two. And one, exhale. Both legs are back and you drop into a plank position. go. Walk it back towards your toes. I have my BOSU out here today just to add a little spice to some of our core work. If you have one, go ahead and bring it out. If not, you'll do the same thing on the floor. All right. First four circuits are cardio and ab combos. Second half is just cardio or just abs, okay? So we start off with mountain climbers and a side plank cross down. You've got 20, which means 10 each leg, 10 each side. Okay, so come on down for your climbers. I'm gonna associate my BOSU in here. Two, one, 20 total, let's go. And each side, keep it nice and strong and controlled. If you can't do the elbow to the floor, take top arm, touch, okay? First minute, done. Minute two, rock on, come on. Okay. 
Keep breathing. Remember our exhale tip. Second half, here we go. You're in minute three now, out of four. job. Feel your hips driving up in that plank. Keep them nice and neutral. One minute to go. Come on. Good, come on, finish strong right here. Thirty seconds. two, one, and breathe for 60. Now because this is a cardio and abs workout, feel free to jog in place, but you do have 60 seconds rest. And we've got the same type of breakdown for the next four circuits, okay? <sighs> Curtsy lunge hops and jack knives. Okay, move that guy out of the way. The hops, 20 total, 10 each side. Okay, you don't have to go all the way into a seated position, but I do want you to tap here beside your front toe, opposite hand. You keep this low impact, just tapping here, okay? So 20 total there, then we lay it down. Jack knives, 20, 19, 18, 10 each leg, okay? This gives us more volume, so less rounds per working four minutes but it keeps us in the game, okay? Let's go, two, one, four minutes. One minute down, good job.
Good job. Two minutes down, two minutes to go. You're in minute three now. Good work, good work. You got a minute 20 to go. <sighs> 60 seconds. Come on, this is a tough one. Work through it, you can do this. Come on, push, push, push for six. And breathe. Good work. Big, deep breath. You're putting in the work here today. Proud of you. Grab water. Okay, next circuit, we're gonna be down on the mat. We've got plank jacks, 20, with the shoulder tap if you can. The option is there for you. If you're not ready for that, don't do it. Only tap the shoulder when your feet are wide. So it's here, everything's together. Here, here, 20 of those, then 20 bicycles. So one, one, two, two, three, three. Those will go fast, so we'll do 20 each leg, okay? Get into it, you're doing great. You're here, be proud, all right? Keep that tenacity up, keep driving. Big deep breath, plank jacks. Let's go. Great work. Breathing deep. Thank you. 
Great work. Just about halfway done with this one. <sighs> Big deep breath anytime you need it. Stay strong. Two minutes to go. Come on. I know you're feeling this. I know you feel the burn. You're breathing heavy. Keep driving. Let's go. <sighs> Last 60, I'm with you. Finish strong here in the last 35. Envision yourself not stopping. seconds good job we're doing it all right we've got a leg heavy and then an arm heavy combo for the next one so last combo of core and cardio yes the title crusher was very indicative of how hard I wanted you to push throughout the workout Notice I could have easily said how hard this is for us. How hard you're working is more important than how hard we deem a workout. Think that way. We've got squat pops. You've got 20, we're going here. One, two, three. If you don't wanna jump, step, touch, okay? 20 taps. Then we go pike, knee taps, 10 each side. One, two, okay? Ready, come on, let's go. You got four minutes no matter what. Okay, pace yourself. Plank it out every time. Up, plank is one, plank is two. First minute, done. Let's go, keep it rocking.
Great work. When you're coming in and out of these movements, big deep breath. Two minutes to go. Come on. Keep breathing. Ninety seconds, let's go. Come on, can you get one more round in? job 60 seconds grab water breathe 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 <sighs> nice work we're on to the second half of the workout already it's downhill from here in a good way okay make sure your mind is right the next four minutes I just want you to stay moving it's cardio it's high volume but you're breathing okay 20 each leg, or you can think 40. Whichever one makes sense to you. Probably most people will do one, one, two, two, three, three. High knees, mountain climbers, okay? Same kind of thing, driving your knees up right in front of your belly button hip area, not back here, okay? 20 each leg, or 40 total, however you wanna count, okay? This is one of the last two cardio-only circuits. Ready, let's go. Great work. Whew. Just keep moving. Almost halfway done with this one, good work. 
Getting ready to roll into the last two minutes. Ready? Come on, breathe deep, go hard. Good work, one minute, 15. It's good work. Beautiful. 60 seconds. You're doing fantastic. We're officially way past halfway, okay? You're doing amazing. All right. Let's rock on. Core. We've got upper movement and then we've got lower hip stabilization, okay? Sit ups. You can make them tougher by taking sort of like a frog position. So heels together, shoot up through here and just tap instead of going all the way open, okay? 20 there. And then we've got 20 leg raises. I'd love for you to go single leg if you need to, okay? 20 and 20, so just keep moving, okay? If you need to modify in any way, that's okay. Two, one, don't pull on your neck, let's go. Good job, first minute done. Now if you have your BOSU and you wanna incorporate this into your sit-ups, it's always a little bit more challenging. But if you do, make sure hips are on the front half, okay? So you get the stretch.
Two minutes down, two minutes to go. One minute. Good job, I know this is a lot of volume. Okay, I want you to get really good at breathing through it. Thirty seconds. Four. And we have one more, one more big circuit, okay? You're doing fantastic. All right, I'm gonna move my bow, so if you have yours out, won't need it for the next one. All right, we're gonna go butt kicks and then lateral skips, okay? So we're going 20, 19, 18, 17, 20 each leg, and then we're going, oops, sorry, one, two, three, so you end up doing 20 this way, 20 this way, okay? Don't do whatever I just tried to do. <laughs> up, 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 so bring it up in front for 20 each leg, and then in the back, 20 each leg. Ready? Let's go. And whatever variation of the skip you want to do there is totally fine. And what I'm doing is just five and five, four times, okay? So five. This way, and then this way. And then I'll go six, seven, eight, nine.
Second half, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. 90 seconds. <sighs> if your legs start getting tired on the butt kicks, we're using hamstrings, okay? We're working hard on those this month. Let's go, one minute, all out. seconds. to your cool down. One minute, just walk around and then we'll start mobilizing. I want you to get your breath back down to normal. Okay, so just a little cool down lap. If you're just working out on your mat, let's go here. My mission for you this month is to discover next best version of you. You built a lot of habits you worked hard, you made a lot of breakthroughs in the last month. Now it's time to capitalize on those. You figured it out, now we put in the work. Now it gets into the action phase where you start seeing and feeling results. Okay, hands on your hips, exhale, gentle push forward. Let's cool your body down. Just about two minutes left here. It's important, cardio and abs, to make sure that you're leaving feeling good and we will progress throughout the month in terms of ways that you can step it up and challenge yourself. But just know, it's always gonna be up to you to show up and drive. To so make yourself proud at the end. Go ahead and come on down to your hands and knees, tabletop position. Let your belly just kind of relax. Lungs inhale as they fill up. Let your belly drop and then as you exhale, lift them up. Again. Again. Last one, big deep breath in. Exhale, lift it up. Walk your hands forward, drop your hips. If you feel a little pressure on your low back there, that's good. Okay, nothing to where you're getting injured, but feeling it kind of calm down. We did a lot of great work today. And my mission today was to keep it pretty simple for you, but just keep you moving. Add a little bit more volume in terms of the reps that you're doing, so up into the 20s. I was really proud of the way that you worked, and I'm really thankful being here right now, knowing that we gave it everything we had together. Come back to your hands and knees. Give me left foot up top, outside your left hand. Okay, and then make your way up to standing. Neutral hip, shift it forward, okay? So don't let your belly button lead the way. Let your hip flexor on this backside lead the way. And you'll feel it a little bit deeper there. All right, arms up. Good job, switch legs. Neutral, 
shift forward leading the way here, not with your belly button. Arms up. Good, hands on your front leg, tuck your back toe, straighten that leg out, come back into the middle here. Just kind of stretch out the abductors here. And then we'll finish it up with a calf stretch. Amazing work today. Before you head out, make sure you're giving the video a thumbs up and you're commenting and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay, turn it over towards the left. Put your back heel down. And always just think about your best effort. Leaving each workout, I want you to know your time invested was worth it as long as you gave what you had. Switch it over. That will be different every day. But what can't be different is your drive. The tenacity that you're showing, I'm gonna use those words a lot this month because it gets easy to give up. Okay, especially if you're doing this workout real time, around the time that it's uploaded. Right about now is when a lot of people have given up, but not you. Okay, that's easy. To give up is easy. Giving up when it gets hard is the easy choice. What benefits us the most is making the hard choice. When it gets hard, make the hard choice. To keep going, in spite of how hard it is, in spite of how emotional it makes you, and in spite of how tough it feels like compared to everyone else around you, feels like you might be alone in this journey. You're not, I promise. Okay, make the hard choice when it gets hard. When you feel yourself slipping in terms of motivation, just remember, motivation is a mood. Drive, determination, tenacity, that's a mindset. You make the choice that you know you should when you're in the mood and when you're not, okay? When it gets hard, make the hard choice to show up, okay? And show out and surprise yourself. We might have been kind of coasting for a little bit too long. Now we show up and show ourselves what we truly can do for ourselves. I know you're gonna crush your goals this month and I know this month, this year is gonna be different. So that's why I'm pushing you harder. Keep showing up. Make sure you grab some water, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you head out. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Great job.